Good morning, Facebook friends. This is Amanda from the Little Bluebird Gallery. And I thought I would get on this morning and show you how I have been painting lemons. Um, these two are new paintings that I just did in the past couple of days. And they seem to be kind of popular on my page. So I thought I would show you how to paint a lemon. This one, of course, is a branch. Uh, my camera's going to zoom in and out a little bit. But this one is a branch in a pretty jar. And then this one I did was a lemon wreath. And I don't know why my camera's doing that, y'all. Sorry. So you can choose what you want to do for the actual painting as far as do you want to do a wreath? Do you want to do a branch? Do you just want to do one still like lemon? But all you need is a canvas and some yellow paint, some orange paint, and some white paint. And I start with the yellow. And this yellow that I'm using is a cheap craft paint. If you used a heavy body paint like this, it might be a little bit easier for you, but I'm just using what I've got out on my table right now. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. I can't get my white paint open. Um, but yeah, the heavy body paint is a little bit easier to use when you're trying to do uh, palette knife painting. But sometimes I use the thinner paint too. It's okay. You just may need a little bit more of it. Okay. I'm just going to do one lemon here in the middle. I'm not going to try to do a branch or a wreath or anything. But the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make something like just a line here at the bottom. So that my lemon's not just floating around in the air. I have something that it's sitting on. And a lot of times people ask me about specific colors, and I'm not uh, I'm not really picky about that kind of thing. If you have this burnt orange then that's fine. If you don't, if you just need a, a darker orange, then take a bright orange and add a little bit of brown to it, and it'll darken it. This is called Sunny Day, but any yellow is going to be fine, a bright yellow. Okay, so a lemon is not round. It's sort of uh, oblong. See here, it has a little point here. And sometimes a little point on the other end too. So I'm using my palette knife that has the point, and that makes it a little bit easier to get um, a pointed edge on something. So what I'm going to do is just go around and make sort of a rainbow shape. And then I'm going to turn my canvas upside down so that it makes it easier for me. So you're basically going to make something that looks kind of like an egg. You can see my orange is already getting in there, but that's okay because I was going to add orange to it anyway. Okay, so see we have a little bit of a point here and a little bit here. It looks a little bit like a football, but a little bit fatter. Oh, hi Tracy from South Africa. That's so cool. 
see. So I'm gonna get a good coat of yellow here. Like I said, I'm using a cheaper kind of paint. So to thicken it up, I'm gonna just add some more on here like this. Okay. So that's the basic shape that you're going to need. And then I'm going to put any white paint out on my palette. The bottom is going to need a little bit of shading, and the top is going to need some highlighting. So you're going to use your orange and make some shading at the bottom here, and then use your white and make a highlighted area. This one right here is a good example to look at. You see this one right here. It's got a little bit of orange at the bottom and then a little bit of white up at the top. Okay, so the paint's still wet here and that's going to help it to blend. So I'm just going to put my palette knife in there. I'm going to turn my canvas again. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just go for it. Add some orange. And if you get too much, you can just put some yellow on top of it. My camera's going nuts. Let's see if it'll focus on my hand. Okay. And then we just need some white. We'll put that on this top area up here to lighten that up. Another thing you can do is draw it out with a dark color like brown and then when you that's what I did with this one here it's probably gonna mess up my camera again see the dark edges around here that's because I, I drew it out first with brown paint and then went back over it with the lighter yellow and it left that that area there. Sorry about this camera. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. And I was going to get you guys to tell me I got my new light here. And I can't really tell if that's too bright or not bright enough. So give me some feedback on the. See, this is turned all the way up. That's like majorly bright. So. And turn it back down a little bit. And I'm going to look at my questions here. Let's see. Brenda says, why do you use the knife instead of a brush? I just like the way that it looks when I use a knife instead of a brush. It looks, it's hard for me to be loose with my painting when I'm using a brush because I want to try to be too precise. So when I'm using a knife, it helps me to to loosen up a little bit and and not worry so much about trying to be so perfect with it. Uh, I don't like the way that looks. And I don't see any more questions right now. But I'll flip this over and I'm going to show you what's going to, I'll do a smaller one here. My camera will stop going crazy. I wonder if it's my light that's making it do that. Okay. Cats are going crazy too. I don't know what's up today. <laughs> okay. I'll do a smaller one down here and use the brown to outline and show you how I did that. Okay. 
And I do normally use a brush when I'm drawing out or sketching out like my flowers or an arrangement that I'm going to do. I usually use something dark or a contrasting color. And I usually use a brush to do that. So if I did this, then I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. Okay, you guys are saying the lighting is really helping. That's great. I'm glad. Most of the time, this is how I paint. I sketch it out with something like this. And then kind of color it in with my palette knife. I'm scared to move my canvas because it's going to make my camera go wonky. There it goes. i got to fix that, y'all. Sorry. I'm going to have to move it again. Okay. So see how it gives it a little bit of an outlined area around the edges. And then I would do the same thing with my orange on the bottom down here. And then my white somewhere up here on the top. And there's your lemon. So I just thought I would get on here and show you a short little lesson about how I paint lemons. And yeah, the outline does add a lot. I really like the way that that turns out when you do that. When you're when you're drawing flowers with an, a contrasting color like that too, it really helps. Um, let me show you this. I did this last night and I outlined this one. I just had some yellow left over because I was <laughs> painting so many lemons yesterday. So I used it to draw out my fiddly fig and then I left a lot of that yellow there and it just really, really outlines it and highlights it. And I like the way that that turned out. But anyway, that was just a short little lesson for you. And I hope you learned something from it and enjoy it. And if you do some lemons, then send me a little a little picture of something that you painted. I'd love to see it. Um, and also, I wanted to tell you while I'm here that I have a new offering on my Facebook page. I haven't posted it to my website yet, but um, I'm offering private lessons, live video lessons. So if there's something that you would like to paint, I had someone to contact me. They would like to learn how to paint a pet portrait, but they wanted to do a specific pet, um, not something that I could really uh, they wanted to paint their pet and so they wanted live lessons so I was thinking that that could work um, and then I've had someone else to contact me that they were interested in learning more about how to add texture to their paintings so if, if you have an idea of something like that that you're really interested in that you would like to take a, a private lesson then I'm offering that now and it would be just a an hour of one-on-one -on -one time. Maybe we would do FaceTime or um, Zoom. I'm not sure what method I'm going to choose yet 
to do the live videos, but um, it would just be you and I on live video, and I would walk you step by step through painting whatever it is that you are interested in learning to paint, or if you have um, business questions, I get a lot of emails and a lot of private messages asking me lots of questions, and I honestly just, I can't answer them all, and I don't have time to go through and try to answer them all. So if that's something that you're interested in, just send me an email and um, and make the subject say something about private lessons or uh, I'm calling it heart to heart private lessons. If you're interested in getting more information about that, and my email address is artbyamandahilburn at gmail.com and I'll put um, a link to that at the end of the live video when we get done but anyway i just wanted to add that in there and i hope you enjoyed uh, learning how to paint a little women and enjoyed watching and i thank you for being here and i'll see you next time bye